What's up YouTube? Have you ever wondered how to adjust the speed of a clip in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad? Well that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen, I'm a media design educator and today we're talking about how you adjust the speed, that is speed up a clip or slow down a clip in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. This is something that you need to do all the time when you're video editing, but some people have been confused about how to do it on the iPad. On the desktop, all you had to do was right click and adjust speed, but it's a little bit more tricky on the iPad until you know where it is and then it's totally simple. So we're just going to take a second to look at that. So if we watch through this clip here, you can see that it's very slow because it was shot in slow motion, which is great except that we don't have enough time for that because we really want to get this clip down to about 60 seconds. So in order to do that, we're going to need to adjust the speed of a bunch of these clips. So the first thing that we need to do is open up our details editor by clicking on these three lines with the dots on them. And this gives us a bunch of different options. And we're going to start with this little speedometer in the middle which allows us to adjust the speed and duration of a clip. So let's make sure that we have this clip selected by clicking on it, and then it will be highlighted in red. And now we're going to go ahead and adjust the speed of it. So we can do that by clicking right here by the speedometer and then typing in the number that we want. In this case, we're going to try and just double the speed. So we're just going to hit two on our keyboard, or we can hit two on this little pad that comes up then hit enter. Okay, now we can watch it back through. So we're just dragging back and then we're going to watch it through you can see that it's faster. Now, unfortunately, the lights were off sync with the camera on this one, so we are getting some flashing there, but not as much as we were on the other one. And we want to watch our total duration here so that we can kind of see where we need to get to with each of these clips. Let's drag over here and see where we're at. We are at a minute four, and we still have one clip left to add, so we're going to need to speed up this last clip as well. So let's just kind of watch through, see how the stirring goes. Looks like it started faster and then it slows down. So let's go ahead and click on this clip and then let's speed it up to two as well. Enter. And then let's drag to the end and see where we're at. We're at 44 seconds, so that's doing pretty good. We can watch through it and see how the speed looks. Okay, now I noticed that that first part looks weird because it's going fast. So we're just going to go to where the speed resumes normal. We can back it up just a little bit here. Then we can go ahead and we can cut that. Remember we can cut it by holding down and using our scissors. And then this part here, we could either delete it or we could slow down its speed again. So let's try slowing its speed back to one again. Hit enter. And then let's watch through. Okay, that's okay, but I think it'll be better to just delete it. So I'm just going to hit the delete can and then check my cut here to see how the cut looks now. Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning how to adjust the speed of your clips in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Remember that this video comes from my full course, Intro to Editing in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, which you can find links to in the description below. I have that available on Skillshare and on Gumroad. If you do go ahead and purchase it on Gumroad, make sure that you use the code YT15 to get it for just $15. Okay, we'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.